What is going on everybody? You're at Home Nerd here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to episode 11, the penultimate episode of Andor. Now, last episode we were left with the prison break of a lifetime. Andor and his friend uh, Melshi, I believe, the, the guy from Rogue One that he's friends with, finally escaped Narkina 5 and they are now on this desolate planet. I don't know if we know too much about, but I'm assuming they're going to find their way back off world, probably on Coruscant or on Ferrix. Yeah, there was a lot going on with all these storylines finally coming together. Inspector Skarn, I think, is being moved up into the ISB. Luthen, who is taking every little precaution and even sacrificing some of his men so that the rebellion can stay hidden. And yeah, I mean, these next two episodes are going to be absolutely insane, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like, interact with this video any way you can. It helps out the channel a ton. Thank you guys in advance. All right, now let's get straight into the reaction. Dude, I have a feeling that Marva's going to die and it's going to be so incredibly sad by the way i haven't talked about it lately but i mean do you guys think we're gonna see palpatine in this season i i mean the show has this episode and next episode and then that's it i think it's definitely still possible i mean i bet we'll see the senate again palpatine could be at the very middle of that imperial senate you hear me come on melshi hands will work i said i hear you you've come this far man you gotta to leave it and they're living they're living Oh my God, what a freaking cliff edge, dude. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> we'll save it for Cassia. Okay. okay. She would have wanted it that way. Heartbreaking. Wait, is she? What about the droid? Oh, I'm gonna take her out in a minute if you want to say goodbye. Or B2, man. I'll have them clear the room if you want to be alone. Oh, dude, I'm gonna cry. I don't want to be alone. I want Mama Marva. God damn it, dude. The daughters of Ferrix require your assistance in matters of... Who are the... They've, they've referenced the daughters of Ferrix before. Who are they? Oh, dude, it's like... It really is like a, a pet losing its owner. It's so unfortunate. Well, I'm glad I actually didn't see Marva pass away because I really think that would have broken me down into, like, tears. Dude, the whole town knew her, though. She must have been very important. Who is this guy? Whoa! Holy crap! Is that the same uh, species as um, from uh, from ro from Rogue? Not Rogue One. From frickin' Force Awakens. What is it? It's a quad jumper. It's an old one. Oh God! Okay. Well, okay. What are you? Ew! Oh my God! I thought those were nets. They're like goopy nets. What happens now? As a prominent citizen of Ferrix, she writes a big send-off. They'll ask for a permit. They know we won't allow it, but they like to keep asking. You're going to give them a permit. Limit the time, limit the numbers. We want to put them in a box, stand back, and watch. This might be their first slip-up. The dead are bricked. They mix your ashes with mortar and local stone dust. Put your name on and fire it up. You become a block of Ferrix brick. So the town is literally built on the the people who have died in that in that city. That's... You know what this reminds me of is the trolls from The Hobbit or the, the giants or whatever, they're ogres. What? What is he saying? What, what is he saying? He's seeing a life or death, the upper nose. Who's this? Who's that? Oh, goddamn. No. Stop the Empire. They not be killing ye. Oh, they're letting him go. Why is to be jumping quickly, though? What? Oh, my God. What a hunk of chunk. Where have I seen this guy's face before? He was in like last episode of the episode before. Big man's on site. I want full coverage. Spotters front and back. I want to know immediately about any comings and goings. Is that guy working for the Empire or do you think he's working for the Rebellion? Who is this guy? Still the best job in Star Wars right here. She's not here, B. She's in the stone now. I can move away to make sure you could stay one night. <laughs> I can't wait to see these like types of droids at the next Star Wars celebration. They make a sound. Oh, that's right. Bix is still being interrogated. Interrogated? Interrogated. If you're having difficulty speaking, just check it out. Doesn't take long. Take long. Take long. It's like cameras from a new hope. It won't feel that way to you. Hmm. Bix. Bix. Kevin. 
I can't imagine like the mental trauma that you must get after hearing an alien species of kids screaming for their life. Who's this guy? Anto Krieger. Anto Krieger, that's him. Is this the man you introduced to Cassian Andor? Fix. Last year, I was pulling 100,000 credits every month from the family. Ooh, bro, I've, I've definitely listened to this uh, Coruscant lo-fi before on YouTube. <laughs> I was warned that Imperial inspectors might be taking a close look at Chandralin accounts. I pulled everything I could access up the hill into the main account. I thought Tay could help me replace the credits and get me started again. But what he really did was discover just how much more trouble I was in. It's very odd when we see Mon Mothma break because she never does. She's very strong-willed and... This can't be exposed. I know that. I found a solution. And it involves her daughter being basically put up for marriage. How are you? I was nearly as tall as me. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, Cyril. For you. This guy, what Hello, the hell? Sergeant. Andor. I'm calling about Andor. You wanted news if I had it. My old partner's still working the HQ night desk. Yeah, she's she's passed away. Andor's mother? Did lots of back and forth with Coruscant about it. Where is Andor? Yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> he might show up at the funeral. I knew you'd want to... Dang, okay. So that's the guy who was uh, at the little cafe shop. Oh, he's getting his credits and stuff. That's smart. And his blaster. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're back here, baby. Yes, two tubes. Tell Krieger I'm in. Tell him I'll bring air power. But we take tactical orders from no one. You're too late. It's going tomorrow. We'll be ready. I think not. Oh, because he knows the people at Anto Krieger are going to die. Ice B knows Krieger's plan. They'll be waiting for him. You're willing to burn him. You're the random factor. I study men. Plus Krieger. So you know he's doomed, which means either you're ISB, or you have someone inside that you are protecting. Or I'm just a very good listener. It's your decision, Saw. It's your decision. You have people everywhere, don't you? You're avoiding the question. All of your sources. Try to concentrate. You're avoiding the choice. Who is it? Who is it? It's tubes. Kiesa Chico. What? Chisatira. Noro Kriska. What kind of game is this? Oh my god, Luthen. Uh, Krieger goes down. The ISB will feel invincible. They'll feel untouchable. Krieger pulls out, we wave him off. They'll know they'll have to wander. Well, the greater good. Call it what you will. It's calling. War. You wanted to reopen the offer. Did you close the sale? More expensive than I hoped, but I wasn't in a position to bargain. I'm most curious about the other piece. The other it's piece? no longer available? No, it's very much on the table. We need that piece. We lose that and we'll have to close shop. There's nothing more you can do. That's never true. They're saying a piece, but I feel like they're talking about a person. That's not good. Well, this isn't Coruscant. Oh my god, it's one of the freaking like original concepts. This is not good at and all, this, brother. There's been partisan activity in the area. This is a piracy zone. Oh, thank you for the warning. Uh, I'll be careful. You'll be standing by. Does he have sublight thrusters? Countermeasures charging. Oh, he's there. Armed. What is that? What is that? Oh, dude, he's absolutely destroying the radar, the tractor beam. Where's my air wing? Oh I was not expecting this. Tie bombers, tie fighters? Oh, bro. Let's see your piloting skills to the test. Nice. Oh, my God. This ship is sick, dude. Oh, shit. Oh my hyperspace Why have we never seen that before? Straight into hyperspace. Wow. Who is this? Tell Marva I'm okay. Tell her I'm thinking about her. Oh. She'd be proud of me. Guys, hang on. No names. 
Oh no, this can't no, he can't do this. Cass, I'm sorry. Your mother's dead. Oh my god, dude, the acting is insane right now. We need to split up. Split Double up. Chances. One of us has to make it. Like it's smart, but I feel like a part of me and like Andor should not be split up from Take someone this. right now. Ah, oh, poor Cass, man. What a sad way to end the episode. All right, well, now we have just one episode left. But, I mean, this one was a really cool one. It's it's really cool seeing everything kind of come together. I mean, even the characters we saw in episode two or three, you know, like the guy that uh, Cassian called on Ferrix just now, he was introduced on, like, episode two. And we never saw him again, but it's really nice to kind of see that familiar face and just keep that continuity with uh, the show itself. And I think, uh, like, overall, like, writing and the storytelling just overall has been superb. Mon Mothma is like, I guess, putting her daughter up for, for marriage. For whatever reason, like that their daughter-mother relationship just seems not the best already. So I wonder how this is going to kind of push her daughter over the edge. There's a lot going on with Luthen at the moment. They kept talking about this piece, but I wonder if they're actually talking about a person. Because, you know, they're trying to use code and all that. And they're like antique people. I wonder if they're actually talking about a person. And that person, I think might be Senator Bail Organa of Alderaan, which would be kind of crazy. The action in this episode and even next episode, I think is going to be absolutely insane. It was super cool seeing Luthen pilot that, uh, I don't know what ship it is, but the, his, uh, his, uh, hull craft and then outmaneuvering the TIE fighters and using those lasers to, you know, unfortunately it ended on a very, very sad note, but, uh, like I said, next week, the season finale of Andor, so make sure you guys are subscribed and leave a comment down below what your favorite part about this episode was, and if you're excited for the season finale, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.